Today we're going to be installing a one-piece carbon fiber 5VM front splitter from Extreme Online Store on my C8 Corvette. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we are doing a remake of a video that I did originally on this 5VM splitter. Now what ended up happening is I did the film I've, and got ready to edit it and realized that my computer had crashed and those files were on that computer. So in order to make sure that you guys get to see how to do it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm literally going to take this back off and I'm going to show you the complete process. Now um, I'm also going to show you what the factory splitter looked like because I still have it and I'm going to show you what it looked like and how it, how it comes apart. Um, this way if you guys still have that factory splitter you'll know exactly how to take it off. So, so go ahead and sit back and relax and I'm going to show you how it's done. We are under the car now, and let me just show you your, your uh, original factory splitter. Uh, the factory splitters are three pieces, and so this is a, this right here is just the left, and then you've got a right, and you've got the center piece, and you can see that they just, they just bolt up there, right? Um, that's probably going to be one of the very first things that you do uh, when you're modifying your Corvette, is you're going to get rid of that plastic front splitter and you're going to be putting on either a carbon flash or a carbon fiber splitter. Um, and I think that the 5VM is probably my most favorite. Uh, I've done the other ones. They install basically the exact same way. Um, but uh, this way, uh, this is, happens to be a one piece unit and this is in carbon fiber. And um, like I said, the other ones they install basically the same way. You can also get these, these splitters in two piece, uh, you know, where the, the seam is like right here dead center and it, they go together really well and you really can't, once they're put together, you can't even tell. And I did a video on the carbon flash one like that. So you'll be, if you need to go back and look at that, you guys can. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split it. These screws that are coming out of here are the factory screws, the, the ones that held this original splitter on. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to take these little guys loose. Okay. And it's a 15 Torx. And we're just going to take this off, okay? And um, see if we can get this little guy off. And then we're just going to go ahead and we'll be able to put this one right back on. So this is not a hard job to do, guys. Um, it's literally, um, you're just going to... Uh, you're just going to do this exact thing, pulling the factory factory screws out of the factory splitter. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave I'm going to leave this one screw right here to kind of keep that balanced for me, and I'm going to pull, so I'm skipping this one. If you have somebody that that can help you. Uh, then you, you know, and can help you hold the splitter, um, then you're, you're okay. Uh, you can go ahead and continue to take that screw off and just have them hold it. But um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and we'll just pull this thing off. screws out and we're almost done. Let me get this one down. Alright. So now by me putting leaving that other screw in there, I can do this. It helps me to be able to keep control of the splitter without it breaking, trying to fall down and break. So you can see I can just pull this down like so and get it pretty much separated. Okay, just like that. Now see, it'll hold its weight if you hold it carefully, okay? If you just let it drop, it would have it cracked it. 
Okay, so now I can do this and I can pull it down. Now, if you're pulling the factory one off, not a big deal. You just got three pieces, so no big deal. Okay, um, so you can see here, it's the exact same screws all the way around. So this is what you would have. Let me just go ahead and put this up here so you can kind of see. So you can kind of see how this would go together and how this would have looked. And this is probably how yours looks right now. You can see that it goes together kind of like that. Okay, so it's literally just pulling these down, taking these out, and then we're just going to reverse. We're just going to reverse the process and put it right back on. All right, guys. So we got the other one off, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the new one on. So we're just going to take get some handful of our screws here, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to set one in the center. Okay, we'll get that. We'll just get it started here. And just get it started by hand. Okay, there's that. And then we can go ahead and we'll get we'll get ourselves another one here just just to be on the safe side. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab my gun, my screw gun here, and I'm just gonna snug these up, not tight because I'm not going to tighten any of these screws until we get them all, all in there, okay? So we're just going to get those started. Okay, so just like that. So now we've got everything hanging, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this far corner, right over here. We're going to go into this one right here. This one is going to set the pace for the rest of the the rest of the screws, okay? We'll get that one in there, that one will line up, and then we're gonna go back over to this corner over here. Let's see if I can get my screws out of the way here. But I think, yeah, the camera's gonna pick this up, so that's good. So I'm gonna go back over to this corner, and we're gonna put this screw in, just like that. Okay, now at that point, we can start putting our screws in and we don't have to worry about the splitter falling on us. Everything's gonna line up just fine. So we're gonna go ahead, see if we can get that to, see if we can get that to go in. Okay. And we'll get another one here. Okay, so now that that's going, I can go ahead and I can start to snug these up because they're not gonna go anywhere anymore. Okay. And then we'll just keep going around, going around here. Okay, just like that. Okay. Splitter install, guys, is going to be probably one of the easiest installs you do on your car. Okay, we're almost done, guys. And there you go. So you can see this is, like I said, it's going to be one of the easiest installations you've done to your C8. Um, and like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a carbon fiber version or if it's carbon flash or even if it's the two-piece version. 
um, it's you're going to be able to. It's just going to go off. Come the other ones are going to come off. And these are going to go on just like that, and it just it just adds so much awesome look to the car. Um, I'm going to give you some views here in just a second. I'll get back out from underneath here, and we'll we'll show you how that looks. Okay. So guys, take a look at that. Doesn't that look so much better than the original factory splitter? That little plastic piece that was on there. Take a look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? Look at that weave. Looks great. Now I can tell you with the combination of doing the carbon fiber 5VM side skirts also, let me take you over here and let you see those. Right? Take a look at those. This is a major, major improvement on what your car is going to look like. So guys, you see just how easy it was to install this carbon fiber front splitter on my C8. And when it comes time that you want to get one for your car, be sure and reach out to ExtremeOnlineStore.com and we'll be able to get you set up. Or you can give me a call or a text and I'll, I'll put all of that information right here on the screen and we'll be able to get you taken care of, okay? So um, just keep in mind though, guys, that I get this question all the time. Does the weave match? And yes, it does. The, everything that Extreme sells has the same a weave pattern and it has the same coloring to them. So when you, you go for the front splitter here, the side skirts, they match if you get those from Extreme Online Store. Same thing with the front, uh, the front grill. This is a carbon fiber front grill. This matches the weave here also. It also matches the mirror covers that are on the car that Extreme has, as well as the rear valance or diffuser that um, goes on the rear bumper, you know, that does kind of like this, but it replaces the carbon flash versions. So all of those things all are integrated. They take really good, uh, good pride, I'm gonna say, into making sure that all of the weave matches and that all of your stuff comes out looking the same way. You don't wanna have, you know, this type of weave on one and a yellow weave over here and a brownish color over here. It just looks terrible. And so, you know, the, the color coding that they have, they, they get the colors right, they get the weave right, and so all of the stuff that you see on my car is all there from Extreme, and it just looks great, okay? So um, be sure, and like I said, if you're looking for any of those parts, you be sure and reach out to ExtremeOnlineStore.com or reach out to me, and I'm gonna put all of that information right here on the screen. So guys, one more thing. If you guys have subscribed already to the channel, and I want to thank you so much if you guys have. If you guys haven't, maybe today is the very first time that you guys have ever watched me. Um, then welcome. I'm happy you're here. But do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. Uh, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, and it just helps me with all of the vendors that are out there to be able to bring you guys videos like this, okay? So um, without the companies knowing that their videos are being seen, they don't want to, they're not gonna wanna sponsor me. And so if they see that you guys are watching, then they are very amped to being able to reach out to me and say, hey Scott, we've got this new product, we want you to show it off and I would love to be able to do that and keep doing that for you guys. So anyway, um, just like I said, if you haven't subscribed, please do that, okay? And uh, we've got a bunch more video coming. Um, I'm, uh, like I said, this one was one that kind of fell between the cracks. This one I had originally done a long time ago and then the video just got destroyed when my laptop died. But we went ahead and we decided to just refilm it and get it out there for you just to show you just how easy it is to install these. It's really not hard. And even though you see me doing it on the lift, it's not hard to do it on the ground either. The, these, they use all the same factory holes, the factory screws. It just comes off and goes right back together and you saw just how easy it was in the video. So guys, Thanks again for watching tonight, and we'll talk to you later.